So, you have a Thor sequel script for me. Yes, sir, I do. And you know how the first movie started with Odin narrating over a flashback of a big war between Asgardians and an evil race over some magical artifact? Oh, so you're gonna mix that up a bit, start it differently? No, I'm gonna do that again. Oh, you are! Except this time, instead of frost giants, it's dark elves, and the magical thing is called the Aether. Well, I guess that's slightly different from the first movie. Oh, yeah, slightly different from the first movie is the name of the game here. Nice. Yeah, like we're gonna do that thing again where a major plot point involves Thor going against his dad's wishes to take on an enemy. But it's not the same enemy, so it's slightly different. Exactly. Amazing. So anyway, we're gonna meet up with Thor, and he's gonna be all sad and mopey. Oh, that's interesting. It's like, hey, what if Thor was less fun as a character? Right, so yeah, he's all bummed out because he misses Jane. But wait, wasn't he just on Earth for the Avengers movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If she's all he can think about, you'd think he would have reached out to her or something. Yeah, he was just so busy, you know, there was no time. He went out for Swarma. Yeah, just super busy. And didn't they only spend, like, a couple of days together several years ago? Yeah, but the bond they created is strong and eternal. What if Natalie Portman doesn't come back for another movie in the future? Well, we'll just have them break up, it's no big deal. Great, yeah. So how does she get involved in this movie? Well, we're gonna have her happen to be the one human on Earth to stumble upon a portal, which then happens to bring her right next to the ether, which happens to take over her body, which then makes her integral to the plot. Wow, that is a real stretch. Yeah, well the thing is I hear stretching is actually really good for you. That's a good point, stretching is tight, especially when your muscles are feeling tight. Anyway, so because she kind of activated the ether, this dark elf Malekith wakes up from hypersleep. Oh, what's his deal? Well, there's this convergence thing happening where all the nine realms align, so he wants to use the ether to plunge them all into darkness. Why? Because he's evil. Why is he evil? He's not very nice. How come, though? He's the bad guy. Oh, that's as deep as this goes, isn't it? Yeah, he's a big meanie, just a real bully. So who else is in the movie? Oh, well, Darcy the intern's gonna be in the movie again, and now she has an intern, too. Why? Because because he's like a sidekick. Isn't she already a sidekick? Yeah, so adding another one's like an extra layer of comedy. Is it? Maybe. I don't know how these things work. Fair enough. Anyway, so then the whole story's helped along by the fact that Heimdall is horrible at his job. What do you mean? Well, his whole thing is that he sees everything and he's supposed to guard the Bifrost Bridge. Right. But he can't see Jane, so Thor has to go get her. Oh. And then he doesn't notice an obvious enemy sneaking past him. Damn. And he doesn't realize there's a giant invasion until it's too late. Wow, yeah, they should probably find someone else to do his job. Yeah, well, to be fair, it seems like everyone on Asgard is pretty incompetent. How so? Well, for one thing, they put prisoners in cells in their full armor without checking them at all. Right. So yeah, that's gonna lead to this giant attack slash prison break scene. Well, the bad guys got lucky that everybody on Asgard sucks. Oh yeah, real lucky. So what happens during the scene? Well, Thor's mom is gonna take care of protecting Jane, right? Okay. And she's gonna trick Malekith by creating an illusion that Jane was there, but she really wasn't. Very sneaky. So then she's gonna get killed. Why didn't she create an illusion of herself too? Well, I want her to die so it brings Thor and Loki together. Right, but she could have easily not died. Yeah, but I want her to. Well, okay then. So then later, Thor and Loki and Jane are gonna go to the Dark World. Okay. And Malekith is gonna get the ether, and Loki's gonna get killed. But not really. Of course not. People love Loki. Okay, great. And Jane's gonna be like, man, I wish I had never found the ether. Yeah, this is kind of all her fault. Yeah, but Thor's like, you know, if you hadn't found it, then Malekith would have just found it sooner. But didn't Malekith only wake up because she found it? Right. So what the hell is Thor talking about? I don't know. No, fair enough. So then Thor and Jane get trapped in the dark world. Oh man, is it gonna be hard for them to get out of there? Actually, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh really? Yeah, they're immediately gonna stumble onto a spot that has a direct portal to Earth. Jane even has cell phone reception and finds her car keys. Wow, that is extremely convenient. So then there's gonna be a huge battle on Earth involving portals and stuff. And what happens if Thor loses? Well, it's the end of reality as we know it. So I imagine the Avengers are gonna come help since the fight's happening on Earth? No. But they all got together to stop an invasion in the first Avengers movie. They're not gonna try to stop the end of reality. It's just not important enough to justify getting the whole team together. In the next Avengers movie, they're gonna get together to fight a snarky robot. Yeah, see, that sounds important. Thor's gonna handle this one alone. If you say so. So then Malekith is gonna get crushed like a cartoon character, and that's about it. Hilarious. So what do you think? Well, people seem to like the first movie, and this is pretty much a rehash of that, so I think we're good. Awesome. I mean, as long as the actors like it, that's all that really matters. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you liked that pitch meeting. A lot more of these on the channel that you can check out. You can also let me know in the comments section what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. And we also recently launched a new series on the channel called Theory Battle. In that, we go head to head with two different film theories and in the comments section, you guys decide which one of them is the most plausible. Fierce battles going on, definitely check those videos out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check back soon for a new pitch. Bye bye